have you ever watched anime? And then the churchers were there, eating that specific, delicious, amazing, tasteful, gorgeous food. I passed through that load of times and I was like, why can't I eat that? I want to eat that. Why does it look so delicious? Why it's different? Why anime? Why? Why? And then that's what we're going to stop today. We're going to learn how to draw anime food. Let's go to it. Oh yeah. And keep watching for more. If you want to have the tail, buy the tail on how to draw that. The first thing first, we search for references. Here I search for some. We're going to draw the Mizoshi Robo. We're going to draw the the Lamen. Lamen. The Gohan. This other lemon for reference. This one, I don't know what it's here. And we're going to draw some deserts. I'm going to show a full tutorial. Also, ice cream. Oh my, okay. <laughs> we're going to draw all of it. Yeah, the song was saying that. Don't say to eat your art. Why not? For me, it's literally just eating in the art. Like, I'm. Well, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, first things first. Boop. Boop. We have this beautiful food here. And we are going to begin with not sweet one. We are going to begin with the bow one. Yeah. First things first, you need to know perspective. I'm serious here, you need to know perspective. You need to. Because if you don't, how can you draw that? You're going to draw it totally from upwards, totally there in front of you doing nothing. You're better than that. Come on, Chip, you can do it. You're better than that. Okay, so we're going to draw not the bow totally seen from above. We're going to draw this a little bit more sideways, okay? We do the first catch. Shh, catch. Yeah, like this. Okay, so here. Eh. Eh. Okay. Here we have done the perspective. And now let's go to the first. Let's go to the first step of it. Choosing what is going to be inside of the bowl. We already have the ingredients that we're going to have there. Like the. Yeah, of course I know the name of it in English. Yeah, the... You know, come on. So, this thing here, we just do a rectangular shape. It can be a little bit broken. And it's fine. You can draw another one here. Smaller one. Here inside. And here, a bigger one. part of the park you draw it perfectly but the rest it's going to be under the little water here I'm going to do it under the water Remember the line to be aligned with the direction that the liquid is. We 
same circle, okay? It shows the perspective. It indicates what we are doing. When to stop, how to keep going. Yeah, that's what is happening. We can even do this if you want the recipient that got the ice cream be bigger. Ctrl T, click on it. Warp, no, no, warp. Hide selection and you stretch it. We choose the base colors that I see where right here, right here. Oh my, this makes me blind. Okay, rice. Okay, guys, rice is pretty hard. Okay, rice is a total different color. It's white. <laughs> Just kidding. It's light gray. Haha. <laughs> light gray. Not. No. 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 It's not white. It's light gray. Now I'll be adding a shadow layer here and I just put it with a little arrow. Control out, click between them, psh, other layers there. And now you apply multiply mode. Yeah, multiply is going to do the magic for us. The shadows don't need to have a pattern, they just need to be in a place that you feel like, oh yeah, I don't want here touching. You, know, you don't even think that it's logic, you just go like, yeah, no need to touch, nah, no need for the light to touch here, nah, nah, I'm, I'm feeling good, I don't want to do the tail here, nah. Now adding two types of shadows. I'm adding a hardcore shadow. Hardcore, hardcore. I don't see any hardcore shadow in my ambient right now to show you. <laughs> and soft shadows. Okay, two types of shadows. This is important. You guys need to remember that because it's going to help you a lot when painting enemy food or any other enemy stuff because they always love to do the hardcore shadow and the soft gradient. They, they always do that. They, uh, they always do that. They do that. Okay, maybe you are forming this pattern that looks crazy and you're like, wow, 
Oh, what can I do to remove that? I have the solution. Let's go here. And just start using our smudge tool. In a hundred here on strength. Start removing it. Yeah. Because you got too many patterns. No, food does not got nosh. Serious. If you know how to do the step of the tail, it's so simple to just render. So simple. Because people have trouble in the basics. If you find the basics, you can do the rest. Do you look at me right now? Look at me right now. Can you see this part here? No. <laughs> can you see this part here on me? That is pretty, pretty white. You can see my hand here. That is pretty, pretty white. You can see this part here in my hand. That is pretty... You can see this part here in my... Yeah, you got me. You got what I mean. Look, like here. I mean, here. It's pretty white. This is highlight. We are going to draw that in the food to make it look wet. Remember, it's going to be in the most part superficial the most superficial the most higher the higher part of the food possible or in the process of two foods touching each other because of the liquid between them it's going to form a little barrier of reflection let's do this let's do this Adding the tails based on our reference. In this part of the artwork, I'm looking at my references and asking myself, what can I apply here? What is missing in my artwork that I can just add there? Like an example, the egg right now, I saw like, hmm, my egg does not got the right format, the right size, neither the right color inside of it, and I'm fixing it. Yeah, so always question yourself, how can I make it better? How could I improve it? And always with a reference, Jeff, okay? Always with a reference. And with the pork meat, I saw that I was doing the meat too reddish, you know? It was like, it was pure raw, and we don't want to eat raw pork meat. No, it got so many worms, and ah, uh, you, you, me, don't want that, okay? So that's why I make it with a more orange color. And I saw that also in the reference, more orange, more warming colors, more that delicious colors. the bow of the lemon thing and what I did I added more highlights smaller highlights I added even more details in the pork meat the fibers of the meat I added more details of the tasty oh guy what's the name of that uh, nori nori yes nori seaweed seaweed yes I also added the details of the macaroni <laughs> the lemon the lemon spaghetti, the pasta flowing through each side to another. Remember, do the passages, do the saturation, do the colors correctly, use the ones that you find in your reference, and also try some different colors because you can like it. Also, adding some texture. 
you can add it by doing um let's say in the in the seaweed that you saw the nori i did small dots small dots showing the texture of the seaweed and then did that in the pork meat by doing the fibers and the egg i did it just soft <laughs> i did it just soft and then the little green things all circular small things there is no texture it should be real there <laughs> since there each one got its own texture i also added a ring light at the side because it looks even more tasty and remember reflection is the water part water part reflects a lot chips okay reflects a lot and you can also add some color dodge some effects that you just like to make everything warm and bright just like anime because that's the main objective of this video to get effects just like anime so let's go and keep drawing the mizoshiro and the rice right now the mizoshiro and the rice bowl the gohan i did the ring light at the far i read the red the details doing the format of the rice and also follow the texture of the soup i at the end added some details on the what the name of this i use it soft light yes i use it soft light to do the effect that everything is glowing inside of the soup and i use it a warm color like orange uh, reddish orange around that and this is what makes it look so tasty so warm so like I wanna eat that thing right now I wanna eat that thing right now yeah I wanna eat that thing right now, yeah, that thing right now. <laughs> that's what I did in this part and now let's go into the delicious part guys we go into chocolate drawing the cake and the milkshake of the ice cream we need to make everything soft okay since it's something really don't use that example it's something that you could find in a different type of website you know the type of substance a liquid water yes i mean of course water it's a little bit liquid of course thank you water okay if it's a little bit like water it needs to be more soft, okay? Have a better gradient. Don't you dare do a crazy stuff without gradient. Don't make it hard edges. Make it more soft edges. It's much better. Okay, let's go. Just like what I did in the first bowl of ramen, or in rice, or in miso shiro, I was doing color dodge, soft light, and now so I could try some overlay. I could try some screen mode to give the shining look. I was doing all those effects. And what I want to say about it is that I did the same on the cake. Yeah, the cake. That's the name. Cake. And also, I'm going to do the same in the ice cream. I was trying to talk without stopping without because of the music. I'm on danger right now. See, I'm on danger. If this video gets demonetized because I'm on danger. Woo! I'm playing with copyright at times.
Enjoy so much food and you're probably hungry right now that you saw this tutorial why not make your friends even more hungry share this video with them especially the ones that laugh that sucks at drawing food share with them they're going to love it remember to check out our patreon our free discord group and also you want tutorials you want those big packs big those big six pack of tutorials yeah we got you we got you. Check out our game around the description. Subscribe for more because I know if you enjoyed this video, you're going to enjoy all the other videos. You're awesome, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.